Alright, I'm gonna do two of them today. Um, inspired by one that I've done in the past. I will link that on the screen so you can see the one that is the inspiration. Um, I'm going to do a test between old flow trial, which is a couple of weeks old, versus brand new flow trial, the er, um, cell life fader that I just made. Um, so we're going to try that out, see what difference it makes, if any, and see if I can't recreate a one-of-a-kind piece, which is usually pretty hard to do. So here goes. We start with my base layer, which is um, not house paint. It is just simply homemade um, with titanium white and floor draw. A two to one ratio, so it's still kind of thick. Um, this right here is a black flash. I will link the colors that I use down below. Um, if nothing else, it will help me whenever I get back out because I always forget which colors I use and then I have to go through all of my paints and find the right ones which is kind of annoying so I'm going to layer this in exactly how I did last time which is the black layer first this is a like color shifting so it's a little bit different than just black um, followed that by a neon pink glow in the dark color, which I already had this one made up, so I'm using some old, some new paint together. Um, just used, or just made these a little bit ago. Um, then this peacock blue, which is also a color shifting. And then I'm going to follow that up by a neon glow in the dark green. And then the cell I faded. So let's see how it works. Getting out a whole lot of this one. If you haven't seen the original video, um, I will link it in my description. It's a really good video. It turned out really nice with the colors and the black light back at the end. And so I would recommend going and checking it out. That is your type of thing. Alright, now I'm going to use the old cell activator. It's a couple of weeks old, like I said. And see how this one works compared to the new stuff. I know my paint so I don't accidentally get colors in it that shouldn't be. Alright, let's see. This might be a little bit loud but I will edit it out if so, so hopefully it won't be too bad. As you may have saw there, the cell activator is actually working really good. But there's a little hole in the middle and the white cell activator didn't go there. So oops. My fault. But this right here is just a test to see how it works. That's the best thing about the painting is you don't really have to worry about exactly. It'll never be exactly how you see it in your mind. One hundred percent. It's never going to be. Um, you could try and get it as close as possible, but it's blood art. Um, the paints do what the paint wants, and all that we could really do is try to help it a little bit. 
And like see in here there's still the cell activator is not quite, you know, loose enough. So I'm gonna blow a little bit more right there, give it a little bit more time, and then we'll spin it out and see what we got. We do this to kind of um, lower the paint density in the middle just to try to give the cell activator a chance to kind of come together a little bit more and do its thing because this lacing is what we're after. And I'll show you the, the piece that I'm you know, going off of, which is this one. I really like the way that the colors worked on this one. So, you know, when you think about fluid art, is that you can get it close, you can get it inspired by, but you'll never get it exactly alike. So, with the different temperatures in the air, with kind of everything, the variables are going to be different. And like I said, the paint is going to do what the paint wants, and there's really nothing we can do about it. Let's see. I always do that. I had a little bit of paint on my, can or on my silicone, so it became kind of slick, and it wasn't directly in the middle. So, you get to see one of my inevitable launch it off of the dam thing. Do that a lot. So we'll go a little bit lighter on my spin this time and go from there. Always fun. You get such a really nice looking piece and then you beat it across the damn room. I'm happy with it. I don't like necessarily these two spots. So on the next one, I will. Uh, See if I can change it around a little bit on how I do it and see if we can't fix that. But the next video will be the new cell activator to see if there's any difference or not. I need to work on my mixture a little bit and thin it out some more. This is a recipe that I've done in the past that worked pretty good, but. At the same time, right now, it's not working as good as I would like. This one. It'd be a shame if I got it on very dirty. Mm. This one can help a little bit, then I'll... Um, go from there. Because all of those paints going to fly off and I really get done. So, same thing, exact same layers as you've seen before, but this time I'm going to move the paint, because I have a feeling it's going to get messy this time around, with all this extra paint laying around the canvas. Left that right there. Give it a best chance of working. A little bit of green. Let's see if done right. The color that's on the top, right below the cell activator, will get intertwined with the lacing that it does. So it'll be like a white and green little lacing all the way through it, which is a really neat look to it. I haven't been able to fully recreate it whenever I want to, but on accident, I get it all the time. And normally, I get it whenever I'm not on camera. So... That always sucks.
And that's why it's probably a good idea to always have the camera running just in case. You never know whenever you're going to create something that's pretty neat. You see, that's what we're trying to do, is we're trying to move the cell activator and blow it lightly across the rest of the colors. So that they're able to uh, kind of just have the cell activator flow over it. And it creates these beautiful lacing all the way throughout. And then see if you give it about 5-10 minutes after you're done with the blowing then it all starts kind of coming back together because you're pushing all the paint from the middle out so there's a little divot in the middle of there and all the paint kind of starts going back in towards the middle and all this starts closing up a lot more um, you'll see whenever you see the other piece the first piece that we did where now that it's had time to sit it's all kind of pulled back together and looks a lot better. Uh, just to save ourselves a headache. The spray bottle is next in this eye. See, a lot of people don't like the pore painting because there is a lot of waste. And, you know, you have to kind of be semi-content with the fact that there's going to be waste. There's going to be paint that flies around and flies off of everything. But, if you're smart, you could do all sorts of different things with that paint that flew off. You can make skins for art, you can make jewelry, you can make all sorts of stuff with it. I just like being able to peel it off eventually. It's pretty oddly satisfying, so that's kind of fun. But I know that that's not in the center. So I'm scoot it. A little bit more towards the center, like that. You see, as it's given time, it's all kind of pulled back together some. And give it a light spin so that we don't launch it across the room. I can have an hour long video of nothing but me cussing and launching stuff across the room like that. It also doesn't help that I took apart my spinner and sprayed a silicone lubricant on it. So it spins a lot better now. Ooh, I like that. So yeah, the lacing kind of stayed intact and went all the way through there. Now let me get it up on top of something so you can see it a little bit better. And then I'll take you in for a close-up to show you how it looks like that. And we might even be able to do the black light. And see how it looks with the black light. Let's see, it's always paint in the middle down there. Alright, let me wash my hands real quick and I'll grab the phone and show you the two that we just did. You want to? Alright, we are back. Look at the close up of these ones. This is the first one that I did. The blues and greens and everything came out really nice in that one. And this is the second one that I did. Well, technically third, since the second one got scraped. But, see how the bigger lacing, I'll see if I can't pull you back a little bit to show you side by side. See how that one's newer. So that one has the bigger lacing that kind of held together a lot more. And this one, not quite as much, but I like them both either way. Before we go, I could not show you the black light results. Let's see. That's the first one that we did. And this is the second one. 
See how the lacing kind of has the different colors and such around the cell? That is what I really like. Thank you all for watching. Um, leave a like and comment if you would like, or if you would like to see some more on different things. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, let me... Yeah, just let me know how you like it. Let me see if it's something that you would try or not. So, um, alright, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.